And there is some significance in this score because if Ireland beat Scotland by more than 15 points and England lose against the French tomorrow, Ireland will overtake England in the world rankings. There is a reason to hang on or perhaps extend the advantage that Ireland have. This is uh, the new man driven forward by Eric Miller. And still they're going Stringer, neat play to O'Kelly and surely not a try for John Hayes. It is a try for John Hayes, his 51st cap but just his second test try and Hayes has put the matter beyond all doubt. Well, what a big smile, I don't think I've seen John Hayes smile like that. And all, everybody, 1-15 to 15 running to congratulate John Hayes, well I should say 2-15, to 15. that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Uh, running to congratulate John Hayes it's not often a big man like that gets over it gets into space but Malcolm O'Kelly putting him in the space uh, nothing was going to stop him from or deprive him of that moment was there John Hayes who's made the um, triple XL shirt all his own since his debut against Scotland in 2000 he was a, a late developer at the age of 27 he led the team out in Rome on the occasion of his 50th cap now he has the try. Well, what a difference six days can make because they're, after the Italian game, this Irish pack were, were given a right old slating. People thought that maybe their better days were behind them. But it's been the pack they've turned to today and they've come up trumps, particularly with the mall. Ronan O'Gara, they have played a, more, a monster game. I thought maybe at, at the start of this match they might have been a little bit more expansive because there's still a lot of talent in this back line. But they've played a pretty direct game and it's been very very successful now, has he sliced just a little too much off the top of his egg he has um, but John Hayes won't worry too much about that you can rest assured that um, if you're invited to John Hayes for Sunday lunch when he's 70 he will still be showing you this that was very unselfish by Malcolm O'Kelly he knew exactly what he needed to do he probably could have made it over himself